Hello everyone, let's start with the next topic which is design problem on how to find out the KVA rating of a transformer. So let's start. As you can see the details of electrical load connected to a plant are given below. So there are total 4 loads and for each load the KW value, power factor, efficiency, diversity factor and load factor are given. Based on the above data, we have to calculate the KVA rating of transformer and also have to suggest which load requires the power factor correction and size of corresponding compensation of KVR is required to be found out. So first, we will find out KVA rating of a transformer. So to find out the KVA rating of a transformer, we have to find out the KVA value of individual loads. So the formula is KVA equals to load into load in KW into load factor into diversity factor divided by efficiency into power factor. So for load 1, as you can see from the table, KW is 800. So 800 into 0 0.8 which is diversity factor, 0 0.8 which is load factor divided by 0 0.7 which is power factor into 0 0.75 which is efficiency. So, you will get the KVA of load 1 as 975.23 KVA. Similarly, we have to get the KVA value for other loads. So, KVA value for load 2 is 450 KVA. For load 3, it is 171.92 KVA. And for load 4, it is 200 KVA. So, if we sum up all this KVA value, we will get the total KVA as 1797.15 KVA. Next is, we have to assume future expansion because in future the load on the transformer may increase. So, it should be capable of handling that additional load. So, assuming 25% of future expansion. So, taking 25% of total KVA and we can get the actual value of KVA. So, it is 2246.4 KVA. Now, based on this actual KVA value, we have to select a standard rating of transformer. So, selecting a transformer of 2500 KVA, as it is a distribution transformer, so it will be delta star connected. ONAN, that is oil natural, air natural cooling will be provided and indoor outdoor. As it is a distribution transformer, so it will be a step down transformer of 11 kV by 440 volt. So, uh, once we have found out the KVA rating of transformer, next is we have to find out the power factor correction. For which load we require the power factor correction. So, from the given data, for load 1, the power factor is 0 0.75, which can be improved to a power factor of 0 0.95, which is the highest power factor, by connecting a capacitor bank across it. So, cos 51 is 0 0.7, lowest power factor. Cos 52 is 0 0.95, which is the highest power factor. And we have to find out the required KVAR value, reactive power value. So, the formula is KVAR required equals to P into tan 51 minus tan 52. So, we will get the required KVAR value as 552.8. 552.8 kvar next once we get the required kvar value now we have to draw the power factor correction diagram so for load 1 we have to connect a capacitor across it so as you can see for load 1 we have connected a capacitor bank across it for the power factor correction that's all for this video and thank you